In a surprising, or if I may describe it as a shocking development, the managing director and the CEO of the National Stock Exchange, the country's largest stock exchange, has tendered her resignation and offered to step down. Chitra Ramakrishna's resignation has been accepted by the board of the National Stock Exchange. Now, I call it shocking because Chitra was appointed as MD and CEO in the April of 2013, and her five-year term comes to an end only in 2018. So she has decided to step down almost a year and a half ahead of her term coming, having come to an end. Um, Chitra is an old NSC hand, so for her sudden departure to take place in this fashion uh, has raised several eyebrows. Now, the official explanation coming in from the NSC via a media statement is that she asked to step down due to personal reasons, but that may not be the full truth based on what I am told or information that has been shared with me by a person very close to these developments. Let me take you through the two potential reasons for why she may have stepped down. The first one is the co-location controversy that has dogged the National Stock Exchange for several months now in which the exchange was accused of having provided preferential treatment to certain members involved in algorithmic trading. Uh, it was, I'm told, seen that Chitra was maybe not fully cooperative or seen as stalling some of the inquiries that took place into these allegations that she had maybe even contested the findings of SEBI's technical advisory committee as not being right and it was this approach of the senior most management position at the NSE that was seen as not constructive and not helpful to the exchange's ability to resolve these complaints or accusations. That was the first instance. The second issue I was told that could have prompted her to step down was the appointment of a senior official at the National Stock Exchange, uh, an appointment that was conducted by her or her team and that took place in a very opaque manner, as I was told, at a very high remuneration, a remuneration that did not carry adequate explanation. There were complaints about this appointment that eventually went to the board. The board looked into the matter and I'm told that the board did not find that due process had been followed in that appointment as a result of which the gentleman in question stepped down a short while ago he resigned now this could have been the second incident that could have led to Chitra coming to the conclusion that maybe there was a loss of confidence in her senior most management position and therefore she offered her resignation early this week. The National Stock Exchange's board has accepted her resignation as I said right up front and they have appointed J. Ravi Chandran, currently group president, to hold charge of the office of CEO with immediate effect. Mr. Ravi Chandran is also an old hand at the National Stock Exchange. Uh, we're also told that the board of the NSC will immediately start the process for selection of a new MD and CEO and has set up a selection committee to do exactly the same. These are shocking and sudden developments at the National Stock Exchange, the country's largest stock exchange. We have not been able to confirm this information with Chitra or get her reaction to it and nor has the NSC commented on the reasons for why she may have stepped down except to say in an official press release that she stepped down for personal reasons. Thanks very much for tuning in to Bloomberg Quint.